With some major federal funding to help a local school district convert to a mostly electric fleet for its large school buses. To your sides, Ron Plant spoke with some superintendents today about that plan, which is also tied to a state climate change mandate. It's a relatively silent propulsion future for the Lakeshore Central District, which has received a $7.9 million federal grant to buy another 20 electric large school buses like this one and install the charging stations to recharge them all at the bus garage. One of 67 districts across the country to get this money from Washington and the Bipartisan Infrastructure Act. Lakeshore officials say so far so good with their initial testing of electric buses without diesel fumes, even in colder winter weather. We estimate it costs about a third to operate uh, an electric bus compared to a traditional diesel powered bus. Taking 20 diesel powered buses out of our community with all those diesel particulates that wind up in the air every day is going to be huge. Some other school leaders still questioning the state's climate change requirement that no diesel or gasoline buses can be sold in New York as of 2027, and that all of the state's 45,000 school buses must be zero emissions like electric by 2035. Zero emission school buses would be a benefit to our environment. But with that said, we also have to realize the tremendous uh, impact this initiative is going to have across New York State. For Grand Island uh, to ask our taxpayers to cover, you know, to pay for a, a bus that's going to be, uh, you know, over $400,000, it's going to be a tremendous burden on our taxpayers. Uh, so there's so many pieces to this that I would hope our state legislators examine carefully and look to provide more flexibility. The state is providing $500 million in a grant program for bus fleet conversions, but the 700 districts must also upgrade their bus garages to add charging stations with extra service from National Grid or NYSEG factored in. There is an upcharge, um, but the health benefits um, for, for the community and especially our school children uh, last month, some state lawmakers in our area writing to Governor Hochul, asking her to hold off or even repeal that school bus conversion mandate, citing the taxpayer cost. By the way, we did check, by the way, about this. First student, which buses Buffalo students, plans to switch all their buses to electric by 2035. On your side, Ron Plants, Channel 2 News. Thank you. Time to get.